right, so here's Jessica Andrade, her 11 UFC wins, the most of any woman in UFC history, and of course the biggest among them, that slam knockout of Rose Namajunas to wrest the belt away back in 2019. Her nickname is the Power Driver, and that's exactly what she did against Rose Namajunas from being behind in a fight, but just staying the course. It's always about her pressure in her opponents and getting her hands on them. When she knocked out Carolina Kovacavich, you understood that you were watching something different because you don't see one punch knockouts at 150 pounds in boxing for men or in the UFC for right. women. Jessica Andrade possesses that type of power and she has a laundry list of some of the biggest names this division has ever seen on her resume. Yeah, she's the total package, as classy as it gets, and she will try to leave this arena the way she came in as the best strawweight in the world. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That's who helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kick box and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Which you can see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 20 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Batistaca Andrade. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, 3 losses. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Caitlin Blood Fighter Jukania. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? All right, so what has become seemingly an annual stop for the MMA leader, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, will be back inside Messi Arena here tonight, and you can expect these Brazilians to be early, to be loud, and they get behind the fighters as usual. Every time, I mean, they're loud. They're behind their guys. They almost propel the Brazilian fighters to some of their greatest accomplishments, to some of their best performances today. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, she lands the punch there, really using her reach advantage, and this one must fall. Real nice body kick land. Andrade, she's got the tie clinch. She's got a good one. Nice straight punch. Oh, she lands a combination now. Nice volume of strikes, and it was hard to find a miss in there. She's on point. Volume is very important, but the accuracy stands out above all in that combination. Oh, the right hand is there for her. What a beautiful takedown. Andrade gets the single leg takedown. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here, she's doing a nice job. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. That one's still in. Nice strike. Right. Big head kick lands. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagi. 
stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Good punch, Lance. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Oh, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Side control for her now, and you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I will never do this. Liver shot. Don't do that. Under a minute to go. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Nice punch there by Andrade. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. And she's back in the clinch. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, that is a nice jab by And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh! Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Right hand punch to the clinch. Fine, fine, fine. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom, there goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. All right, round two, Caitlin Chukagi right. versus right. Jessica Andrade. Andrade is punched to the body, looked pretty good, but ultimately it gets blocked by the defense. Nice job there. Oh, pinpoint placement on the straight punch there. She's got an extended reach advantage in this one and made good use of it there. Punch over the top. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh. Over there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. Best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. 65 total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagi. Well, more often than not, DC, when the strike has been thrown, it has found the home. 52% the accuracy rate against Jessica Andrade. Back and forth we go. 
Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combinations. And that's the problem. When you start point fighting, if you're jabbing and it's landing, if your opponent's landing more dominant strikes, you run the risk of the judge scoring for them. Get in there and stick your nose in the fight. Don't be afraid to get a little bit dirty. Oh, that's a nice strike. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big head kick lands. A swing and a miss by Andrade. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, we told you off the top her offensive wrestling was off the charts. She gets another takedown there. Now we'll see what she can do. Now she looks to try and control her opponent because she's gotten a ton of takedowns, and it's awesome to see. But at some point, she needs to get some ground control if she truly wants to wear down her opponent. Andrade is back in half guard, very comfortable here. Man, she's got some good ground and pound, and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. All right, so we're on the feet at least for now, but you gotta think, at least from her standpoint, another takedown attempt is imminent. She's definitely gonna be shooting another takedown attempt. It's where she wants to fight, and I really do applaud her for knowing where her strengths are and making sure she is fighting right there. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position for you. Who's gonna be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh! And oh, there, beautiful straight punch. And now her opponent's throwing it on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Not there. Andrade's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Does she have a soccer background? How about the kick there? I mean, she must have a soccer background because who kicks that hard? 30 seconds to go now. Oh, so how about that? She gets the takedown late in the round. The persistence paid off, Chip. Persistence pays off. She is a cardio machine. So in order to secure a very big takedown like that late in the round, testament to her. Get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round, and you got to think at some point the blood becomes something that the fighter focuses on. The cut on the lip is not getting any better. Blood in and around that mouth area, and a definite source of adversity here as we hit this next round. She could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. What a punch. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Man, look at the redness appearing on the left side of her body there. That's starting to really add up. 
flush right hand is true. Pinpoint jab placement there. A nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. Oh, big right hand, yes. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, big punch land. They continue to exchange. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. Big kick land. Andrade gets hit and hard with that big overhand. She lands a switch knee. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Andrade. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick. No good. First connection by her there. Massive shot lands. How's she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Andrade gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? Under three minutes now to go in this third and final round. Well, this has been a fight that has had it all, and we are going down the stretch, my friend. Down to the wire. You would not have wanted anything more as a fan. This has been a great fight, a great story from the very moment the official said fight. that reversal by her there, champ. That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Hundred and seventeen total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagi. Best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's her. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Andrade's kick to the body is blocked. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Knee right there, DC, making great use of her size advantage in this one. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, nice connection by her there. And when you cut your opponent around the eye, you got to go right back at it. And she is doing a great job of showing no mercy. She is landing. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and both fighters exchange in the pocket. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find one. Is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. 
all three judges scored this contest by 928. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Caitlin Lombaita! Well, you gotta figure her challenges are only gonna get stiffer from here, but she passed this test tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And she needed this, right? This goes to the maturity of her career. The fact that she is growing and growing and growing and can win a tough fight over an extended period of time.